Welcome to a new episode of the Future of Business podcast. I'm April Corey with Fast Future Publishing, and today I'll be reading part of the Global Drivers of Change chapter that I co-authored with Rohit Talwar and Iva Lazarova in the Future of Business. If you're interested in learning more about the book, visit us at fastfuturepublishing.com. In this opening section titled, Visions of the Future, What are the Global Transformations on the Horizon?, the book explores some big-picture views on how our world could play out in the next two decades and the potential implications for individuals, societies, governments, and businesses. The global drivers of change are some of the leading change agents we may see that will impact us dramatically in the coming years. So here's the global drivers of change for Section 1 of The Future of Business. Section 1, Visions of the Future. What are the Global Transformations on the Horizon? Global Drivers of Change by April Corey, Iva Lazarova, and Rohit Talwar. In this section, we examine a range of 14 drivers that are expected to be globally transformative and could set the high-level context within which business and society generally will evolve. We focus in particular on four themes, emerging paradigms, energy, resources, and climate and environment. Emerging Paradigms Age of Abundance The Singularity Movement argues that, counter to peak proponents, advances in science and technology will lead to a world of post-scarcity or abundance between 2020 and 2050. Nanotechnology, genetic sciences, bio, and molecular manufacturing, robotics, and AI will result in greater efficiencies in resource usage and management, as well as offer up a whole new host of plentiful new materials. This will extend to lab-grown meat, replacing the need for animal farming. Innovating to Zero Innovating to Zero is the idea of creating a zero-concept world, where companies will deliver energy solutions, goods, and services with zero carbon emissions. Some extend the idea to include delivering goods and services with zero environmental impact. Technologies that will assist in the drive for zero emission include wind power, the traveling wave reactor, solar PV, and third-generation biofuels. Circular Economies Traditional linear economies are based on take, make, dispose model, where circular economies rely on a reuse of resources to extract maximum value and minimize waste before safely returning to the biosphere. Governments as well as businesses are taking notice of the potential economic and ecological long-term benefits of investing in a circular economic model. In 2012, a report sponsored by the Ellen MacArthur Foundation found that a subset of the European manufacturing sector could realize net material cost savings of up to $630 billion per year by 2025 through switching to a circular economic model. Civic Ecology Civic ecology practices are community-based environmental stewardship actions that enhance the green infrastructure, ecosystem, and human well-being within urban areas. In essence, communities come together to care for nature, typically in places marked by disaster, poverty, and environmental degradation. Activities include gardening, tree planting, and park cleanup. Civic ecology practices are growing in number as the need for global sustainability initiatives becomes increasingly prominent. Environmental market-based instruments. Environmental market-based instruments are policies that provide incentives to polluters to reduce their negative environmental impacts. Carbon taxes and -and cap-and-trade policies are the most widely adoptive MBIs. Continued global growth is expected to increase the adoption of MBIs to encourage more sound behavior and carbon usage and provide the funds to finance ecological protection. Community Sustainable Resource Management Schemes Local community initiatives are encouraging communities to reuse, recycle, repurpose, and share resources. In Mexico City, for example, at the Mercado del Torque, families exchange recyclable materials for fresh produce. On its opening day, the Mercado collected an estimated 11 tons of recyclables from 3,000 local families. Energy Rising energy demand Global energy demand is expected to increase by one-third by 2035, with emerging economies accounting for more than 90% of that net energy demand growth, according to the International Energy Agency. Low-carbon energy sources like renewables and nuclear could meet about 40% of the growth in primary energy demand by 2035. Scale of Alternative Energy Adoption Oil prices are expected to rise in the long term as the pressure on fossil fuel supplies drives up cost over time. 
This could result in the growth of the use of alternative energies by publicly owned energy utilities, existing private sector players, and new providers. Sources could include a combination of solar, geothermal, tidal, wind, biomass, nuclear motion capture, and other forms of alternative energy. Self-managed alternative energy supplies are becoming increasingly popular at the corporate level. They provide firms with more options for fulfilling their energy needs and allow them to decouple themselves from the price volatility of the public energy supply. Growth of fracking. Hydraulic fracking involves drilling vertically into the earth to release gas and oil by using a high pressure fluid to cause fractures and cracks deep in shale rock formations. Trillions of cubic feet of gas and oil may be extracted this way. Though the fracking market is expected to grow from 13.33 billion in 2013 to 19.8 billion by 2020, environmental concerns and governmental regulations banning fracking may hobble this energy source. Resources. Resource scarcity. Resource scarcity greatly impacts many aspects of business decision making, from location to securing raw materials and supplies. Every resource will become a battleground as nations seek to secure access to food, water, raw materials, and rare earth minerals, and other energy resources. Sustainable resource management is gaining increased governmental attention due to the combined pressures of climate change, population growth, economic growth, and of course, resource scarcity. Peak Everything According to Peak Everything proponents, humans are reaching the peak limits of our planetary resources, including oil, water, carrying capacity, and all raw materials. For example, peak oil production is expected to hit between 2015 and 2020, although advances in technology continually push that date into the future. The FAO warns that world food production needs to increase by at least 70% to meet the demands of a growing population by 2050. Food security. In the coming decades, population growth coupled with reduced access to fresh water and declining arable land will result in mounting pressures on food security globally. The region is expected to have the largest population growth, Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa, by 2050 are currently seen as the least well-equipped to meet these growing food demands and to deal with food security challenges, increasing the risk of conflict in the future. However, growing agricultural practices like permaculture, vertical farming, community gardening, edible landscaping, and urban fruit gleaning are redefining where and how we grow food and will help alleviate future challenges to food security. Climate and Environment Climate Change Experts agree that the planet is experiencing a rapid change in global and regional climate patterns. This is predicted to lead to increased sea levels, changes in the amount and pattern of precipitation, and the expansion of deserts and subtropical regions. In particular, extreme weather and heat, drought and heavy rain, maritime acidification, and the extinction of living organisms would lead to decreasing yields from agriculture and fisheries. Severe climate change effects could also lead to increasing numbers of refugees. Governments worldwide are facing the challenge of developing policies that mitigate these effects and also build resiliency into our systems. Many nations may simply be unable to cope with the costs of protecting against severe climactic incidents and remediation after they occur. Developing Materiality of Biodiversity Impacts on Business Environmental impacts such as growing resource scarcity, biodiversity loss, and degradation of ecosystems provide new opportunities and risks to investors, shareholders, and insurers given corporate reliance on these assets. Thanks for tuning in today. If you like the podcast, do us a favor and go into iTunes or Stitcher Radio and give us a rating or a review. Or, if you have any specific feedback, you can always send it to me at april at fastfuturepublishing.com. You can also follow us on Facebook as Fast Future Publishing or on Twitter as Future Biz. That's F-U-T-R-B-I-Z. These links are going to be in the show notes as well. To pick up a copy of The Future of Business or to find out more about us, be sure to visit us at fastfuturepublishing.com. Until next time, I'm your host, April Corey, and I'll talk to y'all later.